I just thought maybe I can make something very trivial most complicated, like lighting up a low current LED with mains AC. No, seriously, this has been done so many times before and I won't start by Adam and Eve. I would recommend to you a video by Big Clive. I put a link into the description and I will continue where he left off. Uh, with the exception of, yeah, capacitive droppers. Because being me, I would use a proper X2 type. And yeah, uh, <laughs> uh, seems a bit like an overkill, doesn't it? Anyway, the goal here is to make the LED reasonably flicker free. Okay, also on camera or especially on camera. So let's start where exactly where Big Clive, yeah, before his capacitive droppers left off. And that was aboutish here. So yeah, AC mains, a resistor, a bridge rectifier and the LED. Uh, however, yeah, the first enhancement uh, here is, and he mentioned this verbally in his video, uh, yeah, we will use two resistors because these thingies, they are not rated for that voltage, okay? You need two somehow in series. It doesn't matter if they are in series here or here and here or down below both of them, but you need two of them. Let's do the math. So I'm starting a little bit conservative and say, okay, my forward current through my LED should always be at or smaller two milliamps. So my resistor is my AC peak voltage maximum possible minus the forward voltage through my bridge rectifier, minus yeah forward voltage of the LED at 2 milliamps, which is 1.8 volts, divided by the forward current of the LED. And the peak maximum voltage here where I live is 230 volts, yeah, plus 10% times square root 2 and that's 357.8 volts. Yeah, you put that together and you get 177.4 kilo ohms. Yeah, at yeah or divide by 0.95. Yeah, 5% tolerance of the yeah, resistor worst case. You get 186.7 kilo ohms. Divide that by 2 resistors because we will use two you get 93.4 and the next bigger e24 value is 100 kilo ohms let's build that so i built up everything on the breadboard you have the two 100k resistors the led and the bridge rectifier yeah all supplied by my <laughs> trusty or not so trustworthy uh isolation transformer uh, card link to that project and yeah of course we will look at the oscilloscope what's going on so yeah i press that button now for the first time this is not the electro boom channel ah look at that yeah let me fiddle with the oscilloscope settings and then we have also a close-up on the led huh the LED is not that bright, to be honest. I mean, it's okay, but uh, yeah. Uh, however, it doesn't seem to be flickering. Oh, let me play with the camera settings. Okay, that is slow motion. And obviously you see a flicker, but it's not necessarily from the LED. That's the flicker of my fluorescence tubes which also flicker at, well, <clears throat> aboutish 100 hertz. I switched off the fluorescence lights and you can, maybe you can see, yeah, it's still a little bit flickering. Mm. 
The oscilloscope is measuring the voltage drop across one of the resistors. And yeah, we have a pretty much a sine wave. Well, it's not nice, but part of it is the isolation transformer. And again, without the isolation transformer, we wouldn't be able to measure in that circuit with the oscilloscope without blowing things up. Anyway, peak-to-peak uh, -peak voltage 290 volts, RMS voltage 105 volts. Yeah, my maximum is at 145 and my minimum at, also as symmetric, 145. Yeah, let's have a look at those numbers. We measured an RMS voltage of 105 volts across that 100 kilo ohm resistor and this gives us an RMS current of about 1.05 milliamps. And the power dissipation in the resistor, yeah, 105 volts times 1.05 milliamps is 110 milliwatts because yeah, these are 1.05 milliamps RMS, so you can do that power calculation. Vmax was 145 volts, yeah, same calculation, so our peak current is 1.45 milliamps. And yeah, just to check, divide that by the square root of 2 gives 1.03 milliamps RMS, which is, yeah basically the same. So yeah, our calculations are sound. And the reason we can do this is because we are dealing with the yeah, approximately sine waves here. Now, uh, let's work on that flicker. You usually deal with ripple voltage or yeah, ripple current uh, by adding a filter capacitor. And yeah, uh, ideally we at the filter capacitor here where we have a really low voltage so we can use a run of the mill electrolytic capacitor. Let's calculate the size for that thing. So that's a formula I usually use to calculate a filter capacitor. So you have the current here that is sucked out all the time. Yeah, it assumes that you have a constant current otherwise things get complicated, divided by the ripple voltage you are allowing times the frequency. And yeah, I go for 2 milliamps again, but uh, our RMS <laughs> current was 1 milliamp, but uh, maybe we'll want to improve on that, divided by 0.18 volts, so about 10% of the LED forward volt voltage times 100 hertz. Yeah, we have 50 hertz AC mains here, but we are behind yeah, the bridge rectifier, so our waveform has 100 hertz. Let's put that on the board. Okay, I didn't have a 111 microfarad capacitor, so I added a 100 microfarad capacitor, 16 volts, should be enough. And the oscilloscope is now measuring the voltage across the LED. And yeah, uh, top of the scope is two volts. And I hope this <laughs> doesn't develop into the electroboom channel. Let's try this. Oh. Look at that. Okay, first thing you notice, the LED is indeed a wee bit brighter, isn't it? <laughs> Let's see if it still flickers. Okay, that's the 50 hertz flickering or 100 hertz flickering with the fluorescence lights on. I will shut them off now. No more flickering as far as I can see. Hey, <laughs> great. Let's have a look at the oscilloscope. So our 
RMS value is yeah non-existent because uh, yeah we have DC, but our uh, peak to peak, our ripple peak to peak is about ish yeah 105 millivolts. That's great. Uh, our minimum voltage 1.8 volts and our uh, maximum 1.8 volts and minimum 1.7 volts. Oh, we are getting somewhere. Just to be complete, I'm probing again across one of the resistors and there's really no change here in uh, the values, no notable change. Yeah, maximum uh, 146, we had 145 before at minus 400, 147, so yeah. And RMS 106 volts instead of 105 volts. So we don't have to do anything about the resistors or worry that they are uh, <clears throat> burning up. The 100 micro 16 volt capacitor does the job. Yeah, we uh, calculated a ripple voltage of 1.0.18 volts theoretically. We got with 100 microfarads about 100 millivolts, rip, uh, 110 millivolts ripple current. So yeah, I'm happy. The only thing I might add to the circuit is a Zener diode here. Just in case <laughs> the LED gets disconnected, yeah, it might be yeah, plugged into the board with a connector or something and uh, you have it unplugged and you power up the board and uh, yeah, guess what happens? Uh, your 16 volt electrolytic will suddenly, not suddenly, but eventually see full mains AC as it's charging up and at some point, bang. Yeah, and this is not the Electroboom channel. So that's it for today. Flicker-free low current LED on mains AC.